Validation of the research design. It's a good practice to use the baseline data to report differences in means of the treatment and the control group to defend the internal validity of your evaluation. Stata has an easy to go command to compare means. t-test. The variable I'm interested on here is the gender of the household head. I want to compare the two groups created by the treatment assignment variable t. This is a concern for me because I have few households where the family head is a woman and I'm worried that they could not be balanced. The null hypothesis is that the means of the two groups are equal, that any difference that I observe between both groups is due to random chance. We keep saying that treatment and control are identical, but identical in a statistical way that depends on the mean value, but also on the standard deviation and its variation. For a dummy variable like sex head, the mean is the gender ratio. 95% of the household in the control group have a male head, and this is the case for almost 96% of the households in the treatment group. So 95 is different from 96. But the true question is if this difference is statistically significant. The p-value says that the probability that the small difference that we observe is due to random chance is 71%, so we do not reject the null hypothesis. This empirical evidence supports the idea that the treatment and the control groups are balanced and thus we have internal validity. We can do the exact same test with a simple linear regression of the assignment variable t on gender. The coefficient associated with t here measures the linear correlation between the gender of the household head and the assignment to treatments. This relation is very close to zero, which is good, and is not statistically significant. The p-value is exactly the same as in the t-test. The results are identical. If you use a t-test or the regress command, everything is identical. In our example, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the gender of the household head is balanced between the two groups, treatment and control. Again, the interpretation is that there is 71% probability that the difference that we observe between the groups is not due to a systematic difference, but random.